we share theoretical and empirical reviews it is all about learning research facts and sharing with others please subscribe to our channel if you like our videos title of the paper thermophoresis and brownian motion effects on mhd boundary layer flow of a nanofluid in the presence of thermal stratification due to solar radiation authors of the paper Details of the paper Before we present the theoretical review, let us consider a preliminary introduction. Thermal stratification phenomena are very common in pool-type reactor systems, such as the liquid salt cooled advanced high temperature reactor and liquid metal cooled fast reactor systems such as the sodium fast reactor the significance of the study by dragstead et al 2017 reads thermal stratification in a water storage tank can strongly increase the thermal performance of solar heating systems and this can be built up in a storage tank during charge if the heated water enters through an inlet stratifier the outcome of the study leads to the conclusion that in the intermediate charge test, the stratifier from Ocular Technologies APS had a better performance in terms of maintaining the thermal stratification in the storage tank while charging with a relatively low temperature. An adequate mixture enables the circulation of liquid and eliminate thermal stratification. But whenever two types of substance with different temperatures collide, thermal stratification is bound to occur. The thermal stratification, also known as the layering of bodies of water based on temperature or about a surface is categorized into three layers known as epilimnion, metalimnion, and hypolimnion. The epilimnion is the highest and warmest layer, the metalimnion is the transition layer between the upper warm regions of the fluid, and the cool layer near the bottom is the hypolimnion. It is worthy to note that thermally induced damage is mainly caused by thermal stratification, thermal striping, and thermal cycling phenomena. This is true because thermally induced damage occurs frequently in places where there is contact between hot and cold fluids, the metalimnion. Thermal striping known as the local variation of temperature in the fluid interface is an inevitable process during thermal stratification as it is possible to cracks on the internal surface of the pipe and cause high cycle thermal fatigue. The management, storage, and usefulness of high-quality heat energy as in the case of energy storage fields and solar thermal utilization systems require the principle of thermal stratification. Han et al. 2009, remarked that thermal stratification within the water tank can effectively improve the exergy and the utilization efficiency of the solar system due to the inhibition of mixing between different temperature layers associated with the thermal stratification. More so, to maintain a stable thermal stratification, the temperature gradient must experience static heating. The effect of using different obstacles on thermal stratification in a cylindrical hot water tank was examined by exploring temperature distributions within the tank for 12 different obstacles. Al Tuntop et al. 2005, noticed that. 1. Placing an obstacle in the tank provides better thermal stratification compared to the no obstacle case. 2. The obstacle types having a gap in the center appear to have better thermal stratification than those having a gap near the tank wall. The relationship between carbon monoxide co, stratification and thermal stratification was considered by some scholars in the year 2012 for building fire safety. The results indicate that such a relationship depends on heat loss intensity from smoke flow to the walls. More so, the longitudinal ventilation, i.e. prevailing smoke control or ventilation method, has a strong effect on the relationship between CO stratification and thermal stratification. In a study on the dynamics of three-dimensional airing Powell 36 nanometers alumina water nanofluid within the thin boundary layer experiencing quartic autocatalytic kind of chemical reaction by some scholars in the year 2018, it was discovered that increasing thermal stratification indeed cause a decline in the temperature distribution but causes the same temperature gradient associated with not only heat transfer rate but also with thermophoresis to be enhanced significantly near the wall. 
Consequently, increasing thermal stratification leads to the increasing concentration of the homogeneous bulk fluid but the concentration of the catalyst should be expected to be a decreasing property. We share theoretical and empirical reviews. It is all about learning research facts and sharing with others. Please, subscribe to our channel if you like our videos. Next, we shall now present the theoretical review. When thermal radiation, suction at the wall, Lorentz force, haphazard motion, and thermomigration of tiny particles are significant, the increasing effects of thermal stratification on the dynamics of a Newtonian fluid through a porous medium due to nonlinear stretching at the wall and mixed convection was examined. Next is to present the empirical review. The analysis illustrated as figure 12 shows that temperature distribution is a decreasing property of thermal stratification parameter. In fact, at the larger values of the thermal stratification parameter, the coldness of the fluid near the free stream is ascertained. This result is true because increasing the magnitude of thermal stratification parameter implies the transition of layers from epilimnion, warmest layers, to hypolimnion, cool layers. Acknowledgements Special thanks to all the editors and reviewers of the International Journal of Mechanical Sciences, Elsevier Publishing. We share appreciates the contribution of the authors to the body of knowledge. We share theoretical and empirical reviews. It is all about learning research facts and sharing with others. Please, subscribe to our channel if you like our videos.